Something I've seen asked a few times in Sublime Text Forum is how to change the color of tabs in the interface so that you can determine what file is what when you're working with a few different files at the same time. And while there's not a setting in Sublime that does this explicitly, it is possible to do it. And in today's Power Tip, I'm going to show you how. <music> Hello fellow Sublime Text Fanatics, Odan Eric here and welcome to this week's video where we're going to be talking about ways you can change the color of tabs inside of the Sublime Text interface based on things like the type of the file that you're editing, the name of the file that you're editing, or even its location on disk in both a global fashion as well as in a project specific way as well. So you can really dial this in. Now the color of file tabs is based entirely on the background color of the text contained within that tab and that color is controlled by the background color of the color scheme. So in order to do this, you're going to need to have either a few different color schemes that you want to use for different types of files or different versions of the same color scheme with a slightly different background color. And we're also going to need a little bit of a plugin. Now we're going to go over this very quickly here today. We've done an entire video series on color schemes before. So if you're unfamiliar with anything color scheme related that happens in this video, check down in the description of the video where you'll find a link to the playlist on that. And there's also a link to the plugin that we're going to be using down there and a video that will tell you how to put it in place if you're unfamiliar with how to do that. And while you're going down there, maybe you want to use those buttons, thumb, subscribe, and share, bell notification icon, support the channel, see great tutorials, you know how it goes. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and jump in and get started with how to make this particular change. Now, as I said, the color of a tab is based on the background color of the text contained within that tab, which is controlled by the color scheme, which means that the very first step is coming up with the enough color schemes to have different distinct colors for all the tabs you'd like to have colors for. And there's a couple of different ways to do that. One would be to just gather together some color schemes that already exist that you can use for different types of files. Say, for example, Marion and Monokai, two that ship directly with Sublime Text. You may have your own favorites as well. The other thing that you can do is take an existing color scheme that you like and make duplicate copies of it that have slightly different background colors so that you can distinguish the colors of those tabs while you are working. And that's what we're going to do here. And the easiest way to do that is to use view package file to open the appropriate file, which here is going to be the Mariana color scheme ships directly with Sublime Text. And we need to save as this file into our user package. It could be anywhere inside the user package. Remember, this has to have the appropriate extension. And you also have to make sure that you do not give this the same name as what it already had. So here I'm going to name this Mariana Red. Otherwise, we'll mask the existing color scheme with this one and that is not what we want. Now, because I opened up this color scheme file directly from a Sublime Text package file, I can't type into this, so I'm just going to quickly close the file and reopen it so I can type in it. And then I'm going to modify the background color of this to give it a little bit of a reddish hue instead of the blue hue that normally would appear inside of the Mariana color scheme. And again, if you're unfamiliar with how color schemes work and how we're doing this, check the links down in the description for a video series that will tell you all about this. And once I've done that and saved the changes, I'm going to modify this again really quickly to have a blue color instead of a red color. And then I'm going to save as this as Mariana Blue instead. And uh, then we will be good to go. We're going to do this with three different types of tabs here, essentially. You could do this for as many tabs as you like and modify as many other colors as you like as well. And then we're ready for step two. Step two is actually using the color schemes that we came up with in order to color tabs. And in order to do that, we're going to use a buffer specific setting on color scheme. And we talked about this in a previous video on the channel on preferences in Sublime Text. I've linked that down in the description below if you're unfamiliar with it. But there's three different ways that we might want to pull this off here, or three different ways we're going to cover in this particular video anyway. One is what if you wanted to have all files of a particular type, regardless of their name, to have a specific tab color. That is very easy to do using the syntax specific settings. Now all you have to do is open up a file the appropriate type and then choose the syntax specific settings item from the main menu or from the command palette. That's going to open up a settings window, which is in every way identical to a standard settings window, except anything we put in the right hand pane applies only to files of this particular type. So we add in a color scheme setting, setting a specific color scheme that sets the background color to the color that we want. Here we're going to use Mariana Red. Save the file, close this window, and we can immediately see that the Python file now has a reddish background on it, whereas everything else has a blue background color. And that is as easy as that is. Now, if you wanted to have some files of a particular type have a different tab color and others not, or change the color of a tab based on the name of the file itself, regardless of type, or based on its location somewhere on disk, say different parts of a project or in different projects, that would require a little bit more help and we would probably need the help of a plugin. 
And Touch Plugin is right here on the screen. It probably doesn't all fit, not to worry. You don't have to transcribe this. Check down in the description of the video. There's a link to this as well as a link to a video that will allow you to put it in place if you're unsure of how to do something like that. We're also not going to go into super detail about how this plugin actually works, but down in the description, there's also a link to the Plugin 101 playlist teaching you how to become a package and plugin author in Sublime Text that will enlighten you on some of the things that are happening in this particular plugin. Uh, it's also worth noting that some of the functionality in this plugin will only work in Sublime Text 4. That's noted in the plugin. There's a little bit of a workaround for some things in there. For other things, you would need to take a couple of manual steps. They're also documented inside of the plugin itself. Yet one more reason that you might want to have Sublime Text 4. It has an enhanced plugin API. And uh, what this plugin does is provide a tab color setting that allows you to specify regular expressions that will be matched against the names of files and apply a color scheme based on whether or not that matches. Uh, this can be put in your global settings and it can be put in project specific settings as well if you want to override it or set it only for specific projects or in a different way inside of a project. We're going to see examples of that in just one moment, but I would like to point out that if your goal is to just have all of the tabs in a particular window for a particular project a different color, you don't need this plugin. You can just set a project specific color scheme setting, which is something that's outlined in that settings video that's linked down in the description below. And don't forget, whenever you go down into the description for something and you pass the video buttons, if you haven't already liked, subscribed, shared, or rung the bell notification icon, those are all tasks you could be doing while you're going down there. Multitask, make your life a little bit better. Assuming you have the plugin in place and you have your color schemes ready to go, let's actually take this thing for a spin and see what it can do. And the first example we're going to use is in the standard global preferences that you can get to via the usual preferences menu. I'm going to just open the file manually here just to save a little bit of time. And uh, what you want to do is add a tab color setting in here. Now this is going to be an object and inside of this object, the keys will be regular expressions that are again are going to match against the files that you're opening. And the value will be the name of the color scheme that should be applied if this happens to match. So let's say, for example, we want the to-do files that we have open to use the uh, the green version of the Mariana color scheme that we came up with. We just have to add a regular expression that will match that. Remember, this is going to match against the entire file as a whole. Uh, so we, and we also need to take into account the fact that this is a regular expression, but that it is in JSON. So anytime that you see something that would otherwise make JSON mad, you need to double things up. So regular expressions can get a little bit hairy depending on the operating system that you're working on, but that's a small price to pay for this level of power. And all we have to do is save this and we can see that the, the to-do file that we have open has a different colored background than everything else. And that is as easy as that. Now you can also make that regular expression match against the folders that files are in instead of the names or even both of those things if you'd like. As long as you can craft a regular expression that will match, you can have it apply. And you can also make this multi-platform aware by just putting multiple regular expressions in here as well. Because the, when one of the matches, that's the one that'll be used and everything else will be ignored. Now, as I said, you can also do this in project specific settings as well. And if you do that, that's very easy to do. All you have to do is make sure that you add a settings key to your project as we have here. Again, we've covered this in the video on projects and workspaces and uh, in the video on settings. Those are all linked down in the description below for your further perusal. If you apply this in a project, it's going to completely override the global settings. It's really specifically for this project. So if you have something global you would like to apply, you need to copy that in here as well. But uh, without saying anything else, we can see that all we have to do is add in a couple of different items here. Say in this, for example, we're doing something different with the component files versus logic files. In this very simple example that I pulled off of the internet, a link to this code is down in the description. I did not write it. Uh, this is just something that I found on GitHub as an illustrative purpose. And we can see that files that match that particular path component are end up being the one color while other files end up being the other color and remaining files are just the default. And this is just two very small examples of this. You could really take this to any extreme you like with as many color schemes as you like and as many dialed in rules as you like as well. And it's just that easy. And uh, one last thing to point out here is that if you're using Sublime Text 4, then you might notice that if you have any tabs that aren't focused, then they will uh, not show their tab color unless you hover the mouse over them. But it's pretty easy to tweak that up with the theme rule. Check down in the description of the video if you'd like a little bit more information on that as well. And that's going to do it for this particular video. Remember that when you're going down below the video to check all this stuff out, thumb subscribe and share, ring the bell notification icon. It really does help the channel and you are what makes videos on this channel possible.
possible. Your support is absolutely amazing, and I'll see you in the next video as well. And until then, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.